hello guys uh, so uh, welcome back to other interesting uh, session like uh, today we are gonna see about the solus uh, surface modeling it's uh, gonna be a very uh, uh, simple techniques to make uh, you know a kind of a twisted surface as you seen in the thumb line so without uh, wasting much time I'm gonna start now with a new part so I'm gonna start with a part here we go with the uh, surface like uh, before that we will try to make the boundaries yeah let's start with a uh, front plane I'm gonna create uh, some sketch uh, I just want to create a straight line uh, since already I you know how that pad uh, will come so I know the dimension like how to determine uh, like overall dimension and you know so since I already practiced to be honest so I'm gonna create a 300 it's my overall length and I'm just gonna create a deep of a 200 mm so this makes sense yes so now are we gonna create a straight 90 degree the same sketch uh, with the help of a uh, right plane I'm gonna create uh, another sketch so I'm gonna select the same point or the I mean say origin point <coughs> so, yeah. so we're gonna make uh, parallel to the surface create 300 and also the same height so I'm gonna take the reference of the previous sketch and align with that so yes this two are towards down and uh, I'm gonna create another uh, two sketch which is gonna be a projection towards up actually so uh, for that I'm gonna create another plane yes i want to create a plane parallel to the front plane by taking this as a reference point and i'm going to select ok so what i'm going to do here is like i'm going to select this sketch here and i'm going to create another point and i'll take this as a reference since we know the height so i'll take this and this point i'll make the horizontal and uh, probably we can give a higher you know the total length or else we'll try to make this as a line yep so now these two are on vertical and uh, good similarly we have to create a parallel plane to a right plane so i'm going to create that sketch and then i'm going to select this as a reference point so now we have these two so I'm gonna hide this, uh, you know, other planes, which is not required. Uh, means it will be like a disturbance when we are going to create any other, you know, the, taking the reference point from these two points. So it will be some disturbance. So that I just want to hide. So yeah. So now uh, we have created our uh, exact boundary of that uh, particular table, or I can say it's like. Uh, mm, 3d print however you want you can create so now uh, this is a boundary for the surface so we are going to select the boundary uh, i mean the surface in that we are going to do a boundary surface so here we go with the boundary surface and there are two directions like the direction one is like we need this profile to follow with that these are our two profiles like it be and also you can flip the directions like yes it's already aligned with that but still if you prefer to be uh, uh, you know uh, it has to follow the same lines so like we will select these two lines so, so that it will be perfectly 300 300 300 it's in the top view if you see it will be like a square yep if you can see here in the top yes exactly this is what we need now you can see the you know the shape of the profile exactly so now i want to do is like we're gonna create a top line and we are going to create uh, i can say a honeycomb profile for that i'm gonna use the hexagonal uh, shape or polygon shape 
uh, by keeping this as a reference my reference could be like this and yep or maybe okay we will do like this this should be fine and uh, and already I know the dimension could be for this profile it will be like 15.15 for the time being I'm gonna create like this let's see like you know the other profile could be like I'm just going to make sure that this should be I think yes and we have to create another profile let's which is parallel to this which exactly uh, these two are a parallel and I'm gonna create a distance between these two R should be maintained to mm and uh, this as well uh, for that I'm gonna create one mm perfect so exactly this should be a vertical I'm gonna follow the same dia equal is yes, perfect so now this by creating these two uh, we are gonna do the linear pattern um, in the uh, future I mean in the future so for that I'm gonna create now by keeping these two as a reference I'm gonna create a uh, boss extrude or I can say extrude uh, by having in the top around 150 and in the bottom I can could say like yeah you can just extend it should cross the profile exactly somewhere around 230 should be fine or 30 also you can just extend it should cross the uh, the main surface exactly so this is how it should be now I'm going to use the linear pattern uh, my direction one could be over plane or right plane and I'm gonna select these two bodies and uh, I'm gonna flip this direction since I will told have done the model before you know explaining to you guys so I just know the value like uh, to maintain this between these two are one or uh, two mm and two mm for this so have created uh, 17.3 but yeah I can show you this profile here in the top view so that you can have some more clarity on that so 18 yep if you could see it almost match uh, at the center where you can see here the same profile here this is a 1m and same way we have 1m over here exactly so we're gonna do follow for the other direction too which it has to come in this uh, z direction so i'm going to increase this profile which has to be followed with the front plane and the dimension could be like this so since we know this is a 15 like b11 and we'll increase exactly so 30 yes 30 should make sense and yeah it was almost close to this value so if i reduce what happens is like yep yeah, uh, since we have selected two bodies so i have to go with 11 so the additional bodies will be get deleted in the future yep yeah, now this looks good so this is how uh, we have to create our honeycomb profile i'm gonna hide this for now uh since uh, it's all uh, done with a uh, solid body and this is a surface which now we are gonna create uh, surface to thickness around 0.5 and yes this makes sense yes exactly this will look good so now what I will do is like uh, for creating a boundary if I go with this honeycomb and I do intersection or uh, you know boolean method to get uh, all the parts so I need some uh, boundary to make the frame for the particular body means for for this particular surface or uh, this profile i need some frame to be created so for that i'm going to create additional uh, surface offset by creating this boundaries so i like this 
yes so we'll make 5 mm should be fine and yes so my 5 mm frame is ready and what I'm gonna do here is I will keep this as a reference for now I'm gonna touch over here yes so now after creating this you know these profiles which I want to show oh sorry yes we'll show this and also we'll show this yep so well now we are gonna select um, a boolean method like i can i can say this so direct editing and combine you go with the subtract so our main body is um sorry guys so there was some construction of going on near my home so sorry for that this happens so i'm gonna select this main body and in window this is my uh, body to be subtract so first i will clear this and i'm gonna select control a uh, oh sorry i supposed to select this body to subtract it's getting it's getting selected i don't know if it is getting selected in this way sorry let's for yes thank god it got selected and my main body is not this so what i'll do is i'll deselect and uh, select with this here i'm gonna do that so here if if at all then you can go with the main body um, like if you want to select from the solid you can also select this from this uh, feature tree so i can see this this is how you can select so go to the bottom almost to the bottom of yes so where i want to select deselect first and select again the main body you good to go with now and i'm going to select okay so it is now it's getting progress in the back end and now uh, the bodies uh, remains will get delete and the main body will get subtracted with the uh, you know the linear patterns and we will create a honeycomb profile that is what we were looking now so yeah so still so we have uh, somewhere around uh, 390 plus bodies so here we go yeah so yes now this honeycomb body profile is ready so now we're gonna see so yeah, as i told there is no frame for this so i need uh, a frame to be created for that so that's the reason i just created this profile i'm gonna show now so now i'm gonna create uh, again uh, i'll go with the surface and thickness so for that i will create a, a 5 mm i have offsetted so i can do the 5 mm I'll do that face it should get matched with the profile yes perfect good so now uh, this complete structure is ready so what we can do here is like uh, we can create a uh, axis by keeping this as a reference yeah my reference is this and I will select the top line so axis is now ready by keeping this uh, as a reference uh, we can create a of you know a circular pattern and uh, we want to select the body So this is a 360 degree and uh, this could be the four uh, number of uh, patterns which i want to create a four again i'm really sorry uh, there was some uh, noise which is coming in my uh, you know my, uh, neighbor home so i'm sorry for that yes hope uh, this was helpful for you guys so yeah this is how uh, we i used to create this or, you know the profile or what the thumbnail what you see and came to watch this video and this is how we have to create this profile so we can hide this oops so this profile is now ready to go to go with our 3d print or for the, even for the tables like if you want to paint it or like however you want you can just create it with this surface and play with that so also uh, thanks for watching this so complete uh, session and uh, please uh, like my video and give your comments if you have any clarifications in to my mail 
which I have given in the description. So, thank you guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next hour or another interesting video. Until then, bye from Shape It. Bye bye.